Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about work done by a gravitational field. First of all, we need to define about gravitational field. The field around the earth, this field around the earth in which a gravitational force act on a body is known as gravitational field. This can be, this can also be assumed that when a body is in gravitational field, a force of F is equal to M A. Now in this case acceleration is due to gravity, force is equal to M into G. This force due to gravity is acting on a body, then we can say that the work done by a gravitational field or gravitational force. So if object or is placed or displaced in the direction of gravitational field, for example, when a body is moving downward in the, in the direction of gravitational field, we can say that it is a positive work done on a body. So, if a body is moving against the gravitational field or moving upward, and in addition the movement or direction of gravitation is along the downward direction, so in this case, gravitation is downward direction, and movement or displacement of a body is upward direction. In this case, these are opposite direction. We can say that negative work done on the body. Up to this, we have discussed about gravitational field, positive work done by a gravitational field, and negative work done by a gravitational field. In this case, let us consider a path from A to B. You can say that this is a random path. We are asked to define or calculate the work done in the gravitational field because this work done is in the gravitational field. We need to define or we need to calculate total work done in variable field. So first of all, we need to see that how many paths have been uh, can be done in order to calculate the work done. You can say that this only one path is AB from A to B and other path may be can be defined if we move here or here. A, if we say this is D point, my another path is D, A, D and B. A, D and B. The other path can be done like this. You can say that this is C point, this, this path is A, C and B. A, C and B. First of all, we need to calculate the total work done in this region or in this path A to B and work done in the path A to B, A, D and B and work done on the path A, C and B. So separately we need to calculate the work done on the path. First of all, we can say that or we can assume that this is path 1. Path 1, this is also path 1, this one and this one is path 1 and you can say that this is path 2 and this is path 3 first of all we need to calculate the work done for using path A for path A for path A you can say that work is equal to F multiplied by D or F dot D in order to do not confuse yourself F dot D so F D force in this case force is in the form of gravity so F will be M into G and D so in this case the uh, direction of displacement and direction of gravity is perpendicular to each other angle is theta is equal to 90 degree so from A to D work will be 0 but in, in the case of from work from D to B W D to B is equal to so in this case the displacement in the upward direction but the gravity in the downward direction so the work will be negative minus M G and this total height H becomes height into h so the work done will be minus m g and h but 
we need to find the total work done in the path from A, D and B. Work from A, D and B is equal to 0 plus minus M into G H. So the total work done will be minus M, G and H. And in the next case, I will try to find the work done in path 2. In this case, we need to find the work done in path from A, C and B. First of all, we need to find the work done from A to C. W, A, C is equal to, as you see that, gravitational pull is along the downward direction, but the ball is moving or object is moving in the upward direction. The theta is equal to 180 degree in this case. And you can say that the work will be minus M, G and H because this H is height and work or force due to gravity is mg and height will be the negative sign shows that these are anti parallel with each other gravitational pull is downward and the body or uh, ball is moving upward direction but in the case of work from c to b w work from c b is equal to zero because body is moving in the rightward direction but the gravitational pull be in downward direction the theta will be 90 degree so in this case theta is 90 degree and work will be 0 the total work from A, C and B will be W, A, C and B is equal to minus M, G, H plus 0 so the total work will be minus M, G and H but in the third case we can see that in the path third which is from A to B, we can we can divide this path for path 3. We can say that this is path 3. 3. And in this case, this path is we need to find the work from A to B. A to B. And first of all, we will divide this regular or irregular interval or path into small rectangles for example this is path and we need to divide this into small rectangles and if we divide this into small rectangles we, we can calculate the work in, in this region so first of all we will uh, assume that this vertical component a portion of vertical component will be delta y1 and this portion will be delta y2 and this vertical portion will be delta y3 and this portion delta y4 and so on up to delta yn so as you previously mentioned that uh, the work done in a horizontal direction is always zero because it is perpendicular to force of gravity so only work done will be related to delta y1, delta y2, delta y3, delta y4 so the total height will be sum of all the small interval delta y1 plus delta y2 plus delta y3 and so on up to delta yn so the total work done will be work done from a to b is equal to minus mg into sum of all the intervals delta y1 plus delta y2 plus delta y3 and so on delta yn so we know that some of all the intervals these are perpendicular or vertical intervals so its sum will be one height total height so total, total work done will be minus mg into h and this is minus mgh as you can see that we have calculated the work done for, for path 1, the work done for path 2 and the work done for path 3 all the work done has the same value of minus mgh so it, it can be proved that the net amount of work done uh, along the path a b is still minus mgh so the work done in the gravitational field is independent of path forward because in the case 1 or path 1 the work done will be was minus mgh but in the case of second path, the work done was also minus mgh and in the case of third, the work done is also mgh. We can say that or we can conclude that the work done 
in the inside the gravitational field is independent of path. No matter uh, which path we choose, we will get the same result. So, in the final, in the conclusion, we can say that the field in which work done is independent of path followed or work done in a closed path is zero. The field, only field, this is known as a gravitational field in which work done is, in, is independent of path followed no matter we you choose any path and we will get the same result. Up till now we have finished or we, we have finished or discussed about work done by a gravitational field. If you have any question or remarks you can come up in the comment box. We will see your suggestion and we will update. If you have any question you can contact me. I have online tuition also. You can also contact me there. And don't forget, forget to subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye bye.